you are, you are welcome to um, site 337, which is learning, as in psychology of learning. Um, my name is Inusa Abdul Nasiru, a lecturer at the University of Ghana Psychology Department. Uh, you are welcome to this session. It's going to be interesting for yourself and me as a lecturer. This is one of the courses that you benefit from as a student and even as you are done with your course and you are out there working. With this course, you're going to be looking at 13 sessions in all, but this is the first session. We're going to look at what learning is, the definition of learning. You agree with me that our ability to learn underpins the very existence of all cultures and almost everything that we do as human beings. Can you count the number of schools we have in the country and the whole world? They are all built to promote learning. And industries all over the world depend on the ability of humans to learn when they are training their human resources. So psychologists view learning as a means of adapting to the environment, which helps in so many ways, including problem solving and helping others to adapt to behaviors and change behaviors that are not acceptable. Generally, learning is a process that depends on experience and leads to long changes in behavior. So this is the session overview. The objectives for this session, we have three key objectives. We expect that by the time we are done with the session, you will be able to understand what learning is and what it is not. You get the difference between what learning is in terms of psychology and what it is not. You will also be able to understand the classifications or different types of learning that we talk about in psychology. You will be able to also differentiate the various conceptions of learning as far as this session is concerned. And to be able to do that, we have outlined the following topics which we are going to be uh, discussing. Topic one looks at the definition of learning. We're going to define learning. Topic two takes you through what learning is not. There are some misconceptions about what learning is and what it is not. And there are some situations that resemble learning. We're going to be uh, differentiating between that, letting you know what learning is and what learning is not. Then topic three, we'll look at the types of learning. Well, I've provided reading list for you when you go on the Sakai. You can look at uh, some of the cha chapters and also reading material that will help you to further understand whatever you're going to be discussing in this um, session. Thank you very much. So we're going to start with topic one, the definition of learning. The definition of learning. Learning in psychology can be looked at as a relatively permanent change in behavior that occurs as a result of experience. This is something that most psychologists have agreed on, you look at theory, 2000, defined uh, this. Relatively permanent change in behavior that occurs as a result of experience. So uh, just straightforward, the understanding here is um, not as you might have learned some from a different uh, environment or platform. In psychology, we're looking at it from this point of view when there is change in behavior, which comes as a result of experience, it can be looked at as learning. To help us understand this better, let's look at the keywords in the definition. When we say relatively permanent, we are referring to a situation 
um, in which learning does not include temporal changes such as tiredness. Tiredness could be just short-lived. It should result in long-term behavior in relative terms. So learning due to experience should lead to behavior change and this should be long-lasting relatively. Of course, not permanent because in some situations, what is learned can be unlearned. You will get to know this in subsequent um, sessions. So the important ingredient here is relatively permanent. Then another term is change in behavior. Learning can mainly be inferred from observable behavior. It can be inferred from observable behavior, behavior that can be observed. In essence, in order to know whether learning has taken place or not, you have to compare the behavior of the organism or the person or the animal before the change and also after. That you will be able to uh, know whether there is change in behavior and whether it is permanent or not. Experience is something that should happen to you in your lifetime usually involving interaction with your environment. So every time you interact with the environment, you gain an experience. And this experience, depending on the individual characteristics, can lead to changes in behavior. And this is what we are referring to as what can cause learning. So learning can take place only through experience. Any other change resulting from any other factor other than experience is not a learned behavior. It's not a learned behavior. So that is it briefly for the definition of learning, what learning is and what learning is not. When you go through the notes and also the articles provided on Sakai, you'll be able to understand further what uh, we mean by learning. You may want to try your hands in some of the questions that have been provided over there explain why the following key words are important in defining um, learning. Go through whatever we've done right now together with what you read in addition and you'll be able to understand some of these things. Thank you for this um, topic. We'll look at the next topic uh, later. Thank you.